nice back with me. I wish. Thank you. Uh, we're going to head now to Joe in our Kitchen World kitchen and see what he is working on this morning. That's right. It's not shoes. It's food, which is what we do here. So Tom we do. from The Irishman is uh, joining us, as he always does on Friday. We're making a baked salmon. Yeah, it's a buffalo salmon dish. It's uh, one of the entrees at the Irishman. Mm, sounds good. Now, let's talk about the ingredients. I see some familiar stuff here and pretty basic stuff, too, right? Yeah, it's oh. a pretty simple recipe. Um, we start off with just our salmon. We're going to flour, egg wash it, fry it off, okay. and then bake it in the oven. And then we're going to make a potato ragu, which is kind of a mixture of potatoes, carrots, and celery. Mm. Boil that off, and then we make a sauce with it with the hot sauce and all the blue cheese, garlic, shallot. So, All right, great. Yeah. Now, um, as far as the uh, the salmon goes, you're going to fry it off with a, a batter. What uh, what do you put? Just breadcrumbs and a little egg wash, or how? Yeah, how I, I just flour it off a little bit, a little egg flour. wash, some breadcrumbs, okay. and then I fry it off. Just kind of get a little golden, you know, sear on it. Just and a then, little bit. Yep. And then you want to finish it in the oven because yeah. you try to cook it the whole way in the pan. It's just going to it's probably going to end up burning before it cooks through. Right. So you want to be careful yeah. with that. Um, as far as time consuming goes, I could whip uh, whip a couple of these up pretty pretty quickly if I wanted to on a Sunday before the game or yeah. something like that, right? Yeah. The most time consuming part is probably just boiling the potatoes, the carrots, the celery. Getting those, getting those, you know, ready to go, and then the salmon itself is probably going to take about 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. All right. Now, um, as far as this recipe goes, do you have it on the menu? Is this? Uh, can I get this at yes. uh, the Irishman? You can get this at the Irishman. Is it this popular is... over there? Yes, it uh, is. It's, yeah. a, it's a pretty popular dish. Yep. All right. You guys got a wide variety of stuff. We'll talk about that plus uh, a special uh, for our veterans today um, at the Irishman. We'll let you know what that is in uh, the next segment. Right now, we're going to send things over to Emily in the newsroom to find out what's happening on our website. Hey, Emily. Welcome back, everyone. We're uh, cooking with the Irishman, and Chef Tom is back this Friday. We're making a baked salmon with a little vegetable ragu, you're calling it, right? Yeah, potato ragu. I call them yeah. medley. Same thing. Is, Pretty oh, much really? the same okay, thing. You know, good. Potato, yeah. Now, how do you, uh, what, do you, what are we going to do with these um, veggies right now? Well, I've chopped up the potatoes and the carrots, and I'm about to do the celery, and you can just boil them off at that point. It'll probably take about 25 minutes to get them, you know, when the potatoes and carrots start to have a little bit of a give to them. You a little know, softness yeah, to them? Yeah, okay. you know, they're good. Now, are these also going to go in the oven later on as well with the salmon after you fry off the salmon a little uh, bit? With these, usually when they're cooked, you're going to let them cool a little bit, and then you're just going to heat them through, uh, saute them up a little butter and a little, have a little crumbly blue cheese so they get all the, the blue cheese flavor in there with it and everything. Yeah, I'm, I'm fixated on the blue cheese and the um, and all this stuff. What, when are we going to use this? When? How does this come into play later on? Well, the crumbly blue cheese will come into play after we cook off the celery, the carrots, and the potato. We're going to mix that together, and then that's going to be kind of the base of the dish. And then the, we'll also use the hot sauce and the cr and the regular blue cheese in the uh, sauce of Blanc we make that we put over it. Oh, sounds good. Yeah. Yeah, now, a lot of people think when they... You know, I used to not like salmon because it was so fishy. Right. But this seems like the type of recipe where you're not going to get a lot of that fishiness out of it because you're adding so much to it, right? It does. It, it kind of, you know, I mean, if you're, if you're not huge on salmon, this will be a little bit better for you. It's going to have a little bit less of the salmon flavor be noticeable. You get a little more blue cheese, a little right. hot sauce. I mean, you could put blue cheese on, as I always say, my shoe, and I'll eat it. So, um, okay, this doesn't take too long to cook either, right? You're no. saying it's not too... Uh, this, what I'm doing right here, is pretty much the longest process, is the okay. boiling of the potatoes. You probably want to start that before you start your salmon, and then once the, once the potatoes are closed, then you can roll with the salmon, pretty much fire that in the oven. All right, good stuff. We're going to get started on that in the next segment, and we're also going to let you in on a little uh, secret about the Irishman today and something very special they're doing for our local veterans here in town. But coming up next, it's uh, bring in your favorite pair of shoe day, I guess, here at <laughs> Winging It Buffalo Style. I'm actually going to join in on this. I do have a favorite pair of shoes, and as you can see there, Amelia, Victoria, and uh, Allie have all their shoes ready to go. So we'll be right back. Fish off prints, not food. <laughs> I know. Go to Joe. <laughs> oh, that was Nemo, yeah. Nemo. All right, big, great white shark. All right. Well, we're eating uh, salmon today in the kitchen. We're making it first, of course. We're with Chef Tom from the Irishman. Thanks again for being here. No problem. All right, now let's uh, tell the folks at home what we got going on right now. We've got a little bit of a uh, crusted uh, salmon. Yeah, I just basically floured the salmon and then a little egg wash and then some mm -hmm. breadcrumbs on it. I got a hot saute pan here with some oil, and this is my uh, mixture, my potato ragu from earlier that I've also got working. Right, now you got a little olive oil. Is that better than butter if you're just going to kind of sear it off in the pan? Yeah, or, yeah, yeah butter tends that. to burn, so you can go with a higher temp with the oil. So okay, you wanna, get that going. And this, I'm just trying to, yeah, I'm just trying to kind of brown off the outside. Just and we're a little finish bit. It, yeah, and then we're going to finish it in the oven. Okay, now obviously if you're working with a piece of salmon for the first time, just remember it's a little delicate. Yeah, you don't be, kinda, be very careful with it. Yes. Right, yes so. Even though they call it a salmon steak, it's, it flakes apart. So, right, so yeah. be a little careful with that. Or else it'll, it'll still come out fine. It just won't look as good right. in the end. It'll still right. taste the same. But Absolutely. Right, you know, exactly. I mean, if you could put all this in a blender, I would just drink my dinner every night. But of course, <laughs> we don't do that. Um, in the in the uh, pot right here, we're just boiling up those vegetables. So let's yes. just remind the folks what we got in the pot. Uh, we just have some potatoes cut up, some celery, and some carrots. I just put a little salt, pepper in the water, and just bring those to a boil and. 
Once those get to the right temperature, then they're going to go in the oven as well for a little bit too, right? Yeah, we're going right to saute right? those up okay. with a little bit of uh, okay. blue cheese. So that's what you're looking for, just yeah, that just little so golden brown. Beginning of right golden there. brown there, yep, and you can finish it. In, uh, now, what's going in this pan here? I'm starting our sauce for okay. the actual entree. This is a. Uh, this is why we call it a buffalo salmon, right? Pretty that's much. Right, pretty much. Okay. And yeah, it's a hot sauce per blanc, so it's. Yeah, Bur Blanc. Explain to the folks at home what, uh, what goes into a Bur Blanc. Well, Bur Blanc pretty much just means with butter. It's okay. a French, it's a French thing with butter. So any, sounds better. Yeah, <laughs> any sauce, any sauce you're gonna make that you know that has incorporates butter could technically be called a Bur Blanc. Right. So. Okay. So uh, that just seared off. That was probably less than three minutes. Yeah, in, that was in the pan there on both sides. Yeah, that's what you're looking for there. That oh, as it just slid, <laughs> John. <laughs> All right, that's going to be uh, going in the oven shortly. Our Bur Blanc, what, what else is in the Bur Blanc? You got the heavy cream. I'm going to let that reduce a little bit, then I'm going to add a little hot sauce and a little crumbly blue cheese at the end. Ah, crumbly blue cheese. Sounds yep. good. Okay. Now we're going to take this. I'm going to take this and out of your way. It's quite all right. I'm going to go in the oven here with this. <laughs> now, what do you want to set that oven at? There, uh, 350 is a good temp, and it'll give you about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah, that's and, all it takes. Yep, and that's all, all right, it takes. Not bad. Okay. Excuse me again. Mm -hmm. Let me slip back over here. Well, that's and, already cooking up pretty good. Yep. Now, did you guys come up with this recipe? Is it one of those? Because a lot of time you tell me you guys just brainstorm in the kitchen. You're just messing around. Right. D is this one of those? This or? is. Yeah. This was. Uh, this was in place when I started there. Uh, when I started the Irishman, probably uh, Chef Mike McGee probably would be the one responsible for oh, it. Oh yeah. Okay. There, yes. well, props to Chef Mike yes, McGee because this, yes. this is great. I mean, this is how I like my fish. I just don't. I cannot eat just a plain old piece of fish. No, I this gives it a little more. It, you know? little yeah. more so, yeah, a little more flavor. A little more going on with it. So popular over there at the Irishman. Yes. Too? It's yeah. a popular dish. Yep. It is. All right. Now speaking of. Uh, um, popular dishes. Um, the Irishman, you guys are doing something very, very special for Veterans Day today. Why don't you tell everyone what that is? Uh, we are. We are encouraging all veterans to come in. We're giving them either a free appetizer, a free uh, drink, or a free dessert tonight. So and is this the today. first time you guys are doing this, or have you been doing it for a while? I believe it's the first time we've been doing this. This is the first time we've done this. So, yep. Great thing out there. And thank you to all the veterans. Yeah, yeah, we encourage everyone to come out. Uh, absolutely. Uh, they definitely deserve it on, on this day and, and every day for that matter. All right. Uh, now you're getting crazy here. What, now what did you just crazy. do? I just, just added a little blue cheese. <laughs> That's like something I would do by right. accident and then work it out. It would be fine. No, this is going to work out well, though. You know, a little uh, hot sauce, a little blue cheese in there. and <laughs> Get it going. Let that reduce a little. Yep. And we'll just be able to finish the salmon with that. Now, what is that going to taste like exactly? Is it... Um, well, I mean, it's going to... You want... You can, of course, do this to taste. You can add more Franks if you want to, if you like stuff okay. a little bit hotter. Me, personally, we'll go yeah, a little... That's Frank's hot sauce. Little case. Franks, I'm going to go a little bit more in there just to give it a little more heat. So depending on how spicy you like it. Right, you can do it to your way. taste. Doesn't matter. If you like more blue cheese, you can go a little heavier on the blue cheese. That would be me, of course, and then, okay. Right. All right, we've got a minute left. Um, our veggies are boiling, but we do have a finished product to show you at, at home, of course, what this dish looks right. like at I the Irishman. Are ready for it? Yeah, let's pull that out, yeah. and um, I'll keep an eye on my this little concoction over here. Looks good. Ah, look at that. So that that's in the oven for what? You said 15 to 20 minutes maximum after you sear it off? I would say 15 to 20. And again, look salmon, some people like that a little more medium where you can kind of do that with a little, right. you know, not cook it all the way through. Absolutely. And then let me just finish yeah. it. With, of course, let me finish it with the hot sauce here. Finish it with the hot sauce. Um, and then the potatoes, to get to that, we just mixed them with crumbly blue cheese once they were cooked off. And then the finished salmon right. on top. And, and the then, potatoes boil for what, like 20 minutes in the in I the would pot, say or? 20, 25, yeah. Okay, that's and then probably, they go in there as yeah, well. Yeah, you want to start that. You want to start that before you start the salmon, probably. Oh, that looks amazing. A little sauce on there for you. And that's what you Good want. Good to go. The, uh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that sauce is great. Perfect consistency. All right, we're going to take the leftover salmon and make a really neat special help, special helping, second helping, whatever. I'm special. Second helpings are coming up. Before we do that, though, we're going to have a check on the weather. Uh We're uh, in the kitchen for Second Helpings. We're with uh, Chef Tom from the Irishman, and we've been making a great buffalo uh, baked salmon. Delicious, by the way. We've, well, I don't even want to show you what's left of it. There it is. <laughs> we do get a shot of it. Um, we enjoyed that. Now we're going to take the leftover salmon, and you're going to give us another little recipe. Yeah, it's pretty, if, pretty easy. If you had uh, cooked off salmon or any extra salmon, uh, you could just, you want to refrigerate it, probably start with it cold, and mm -hmm. then you start with onions, a uh, little garlic, shallot. Red pepper, Red pepper, saute those off, and then you're going to mix them in with the cold salmon, mm -hmm. and then I have a little lemon zest, I zested a lemon there, added that, and then I have some Havarti cheese here, um, just grated it. It's a real it. smooth, creamy. Yeah, yeah real rich, great. real yeah. tasty. Yep, and I mixed in a little bit of that. Uh, one egg and some breadcrumbs. You want to do the breadcrumbs to consistency to the point where pack it in. Right to the point where you can actually form them, so they actually will so stay stay together like that's that. That's what you should get, right. pretty much. Right. That's okay. the way it's going to look. And then from there, I pretty much did the same salmon that, or the same technique I did for the salmon: just flour, egg wash, bread it, and throw it in the oven. 
pretty easy. And you're baking it too, so that's a little yeah. healthier as well. You're not frying it as much. Uh, it's a little bit. It's still got <laughs> some <laughs> oil involved. But I guess it's a little still bit. Still a better. lot of cheese in there, yeah. which is good. Yeah. Anyway, all right, flavor. Yeah. Let's show. Uh, let's show what it looks like when it's all done. Of course, um, right. I usually, you know, buy these things already made, but this looks really good because it has so many extra little uh, ingredients in it. So I'm sure it tastes great. Do you guys have this at the at the restaurant as well? Did I mention? Uh, that we've run these occasionally as appetizers, but it's not a menu item per se. But oh, look at the cheese just coming out of that. That looks yeah. amazing. Um, really quick. Um, we've got about 30 seconds. You have a very special tribute to our, our veterans today going on over at the Irish. Why don't you tell the folks at home what that's all yep, about? Our veterans can come in and uh, they can get a free appetizer, a free drink, or a free dessert any point at any point today at the Irishman. So, you know, we want to say thank you to the veterans and come on out. That's right. One of them is behind the camera right in front of us right now. Oh, thank you, John. Thank you, John. Um, okay, we are done here for now. You can find all of this information on wingit.tv. Tom, thanks again. Thank Appreciate you, it. We'll see you next week. All right. Back to you guys on the couch.